ready for a chef's table. I'm having a chef's table next week and I have a lot of preparation. As much as the food um, and the visuals of the food is important to me, so is the settings and the dining settings. Uh, there's going to be about 15 people. So well, what's, what's life if you don't challenge yourself, right? So I've got to make this space beautiful. So one of the ways I'm going to do that is I'm going to make some topiaries for the table. I'm going to put four across the center. Now, I need to make sure that um, it's high enough so that when people are sitting, it's not blocking their view. But it's still low enough so that it can be appreciated um, in the dining environment. This is one of my coffee can crafts. And my coffee can crafts are quite literally coffee cans that I just uh, repurposed. I drink a lot of coffee. We drink a lot of coffee here. And we go through a can. Uh, well, I have a lot of cans. Just leave it at that. So what I've done is I'm going to use the coffee cans as, as the base. And then a dowel and then a ball and then decorate that ball. You know what a topiary is, so I'm not, I don't have to break this down. So here's what I did. I just took my coffee cans, washed them. Um, took the labels off and I, I spray painted them white because um, the color that I'm going to use is the same beautiful fluorescent kind not fluorescent um, iridescent champagne pink that I used on that gorgeous mixer so I want it on here as well um, it, I'm telling you if I could I'd put the mixer in the center <laughs> in my centerpiece just because I love looking at it uh, but I won't this time so here's here's um okay just a just a white spray paint uh i happen to have had i think it was a semi-gloss so that's that's what i used and i used semi-gloss because that's what i had that's it i'm not looking to put more money into this um i i budget is my absolute favorite word my favorite word is free so that's what this is all right so with these stripes i kind of want to you know how they say you hide something in plain sight? Well, that's what I'm doing with these stripes. I don't want to try to make more work for myself by, you know, filling them in. And, you know, if you wanted to, you could just leave the paper on and then wrap more paper around it. You could do a ton of different things with, with coffee cans. I'm telling you, that's why I save them. All right. So what I did was I just got these little um, stickers. They're little round dots, whatever size you want. Um... I just have, um, I just got these cause, cause Lynn's got a ton of them. So I just picked the smaller size and all I did was put them in. Okay. Um, there's, there's no rhyme. There's no reason. You, don't you hate that phrase? I hate when I say that phrase. It sounds so stupid, <laughs> but there's no rhyme and there's no reason. So there you go. And just in any, in any order. Now here's, um, one thing I do want you to see. I'm going to have to. I've covered my table because I don't want to ruin it. But can you see how it doesn't adhere all the way to the dips? Okay. Well, I'm going to make sure before I paint it that beautiful champagne color, I'm going to make sure that it's all the grooves and it's touching all the way around. These are old stickers so that the tack isn't as strong. It doesn't matter. It works. So before I spray paint it, I'm going to make sure that they're all, all the grooves are touching and that's good. So once that's done, I'm going to spray it and I've got this. Now, isn't that pretty? That is such a pretty color. So now all I'm going to do is take off the um, stickers and I've got my dots. Cute, right? Right. I got my peanut gallery in the background watching me. <laughs> so, awesome. so there you go. So those are my dots. Now, after that's done, 
Um, I spray painted the top of, of the lid as well. It's just the underside. That's it. Again, white and then the champagne color. Then I got my X-Acto knife and I cut a cross, crisscross, right? Right in the middle. Okay. Here's why I did that. I'm going to fill these cans with um, plaster of Paris. So, where's my can? All right, I'll take off. I'll take off these stickers later. Stop it! But I'm going to fill this with plaster of Paris. Now, when I do that, I've got a dowel, just a dowel I got at Walmart. I'm going to stick that in. I'm, I'm actually going to mix it with this dowel. Why? Why dirty something else? In fact, let me just show you. Okay, so I've got, um, I went to a craft store or any place. You can buy this stuff all over the place. This came in four one pound packets, which was exactly what I needed. So I was super happy. And I'm just gonna pour this without so much dust, I hope. into the can. I'm gonna mix it right in here and I'm gonna use the dowel to stir it. And I don't really, you know, the amount of water they said to use, eh, I wasn't feeling that. It felt like way too much water for me. So I'm just gonna mix it until I'm happy. And this is way too little water. But the thicker it is, obviously, the faster it's gonna set. I left mine to sit overnight. Because I have four of these, it was kind of easy for me to um, to do them in, in steps. All right. That's it. I'm just gonna mix this. And it it's comes to about like right here, which is perfect. That's It's got my weight. Um, it'll be centered. Now, so to stop this from happening, I love when things work out right. I put my top on. That's it. That's it. Is that not cool or what? <laughs> that is so clever. So this will sit overnight. And then it'll give me this. All right. So there's one of these. I did two of them last night. One of them didn't quite set evenly, which is really, let me show you, it's right here. Hold on one second. So this, and this is sturdy. Look at this, sucker's not moving anywhere. All right, so can you see how this tilted a little bit? All right. Well, guess what happened? I just fixed it. And that's all you gotta do is just, you know, put it in, <laughs> it's okay that it's got a little dent to it. Actually, I think the, the dowel was bowed. Um, and I meant to fix it, but I didn't. <laughs> So that's fine. This is set and here we go. So all I did was I got everything that I had to buy except for the plaster. Hi, <laughs> except for the plaster of Paris um, was at the dollar stores, plural, because the, the big dollar store didn't have these balls. They had them smaller and I kind of wanted an eight inch. Um, circle, but I settled for a six inch for a buck. Come on. All right, so the next thing I did was I took this um, styrofoam ball and I just kind of poked a hole in it because it's it's really hard to try to put this whole thing down. So this will go on. Perfect. And I've got two of them done. <laughs> I am so freaking easily amazed it's sad. All right, now I've got all my fruit, uh, flowers. And can you guess that they're pink? They're pink. Isn't that pretty? The dollar store, I'm telling you, stop it right now. All right, um, and I'm, I'm just gonna glue them on. Uh, I, I wish I could tell you there's only one way to do it, and this is the way you need to do it, and it's the best way to do it, but that's a flat-out lie. That's a flat-out lie. You do it the way you want. So, 
How's that for a wide a ride? All right, so I'm just gonna glue them on. Now, I do want the bigger ones, one big one on each side. They only had one of these things. Look at that, isn't that? Oh, that is so pretty. So I'm gonna put one on, on each side. And yeah, I was a little tempted to just go to like the other stores and get, get more, but I'm not, I am looking for bargains here. So one there. And one there. Why? I don't know. Why not? And and look at these roses. I thought dollar store. <laughs> yeah, I'm 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 easily amused. No, see, when you don't play right, you don't get to come to the party. So with this, what I probably should have done, but I'm not going to, is uh, poke holes in it because they've got little. They've got little legs. You see that? So if you poke that hole in it, it'll stick pretty good. I'm not gonna. So what will I do? I'm gonna cut off the legs. <laughs> there, now it'll stick. You see that? Cut the legs off. Well, put a pretty good amount of glue, but well, let's just see how they play. Oh. Guess what? It says hi and it'll stick. I'm still gonna hold it a bit. You guys are crafters. You know exactly what I'm doing by blowing this glue. All right. So since this is all I'm gonna do, let me go ahead and just Speed it up. because I needed filler. I'm trying to do this economically. I kind of like the way that looks. I don't see a problem with it. So there you go. Now, all I did was I got some, um, I had some of this really pretty green sheer ribbon that has a wire in it. So I took the two ends and I tied them, I twisted it around the, the pole and I twisted them, tied them, Put some glue up on that post and stuck it right up there and then i'm just going to go around and around it's light it's pretty it's just a it's just a little um extra touch let me see if you can see that can you see you can see that right yeah. i can see it and it's really hard to sometimes do this stuff um on camera that you don't see so when I say something is really pretty, just take my word. <laughs> no, because it really is. So I'm going to um, pop off this baby. Stick my ribbon inside there, I hope. Oh, it's still wet. It's wet from... It's set. It's all I care about. All right, so I'm gonna stick the ribbon in there and pull it in. And pull it tight, pull it through, seal it back up, and cut it. What do you think? A leaf or two? I think a leaf or two or three. Since I have it here, let me just. different leaf. 
I don't want to really. Yeah, let me be. Let me be. Be particular about it. Pretty, huh? It's pretty. Yeah. We can play hide and seek with this. <laughs> right, because I can hide behind this. <laughs> That's all right. So I've got three more of these to do. I may end up just doing three. Um, so sitting at a table, <laughs> it'll be just high enough so that we can still see guests and still look pretty. So the other stuff I've got for this chef's table, you guys... You are gonna dig it. And I'll, I'll break through every meal, all the desserts, all the preparation. I'll, I'll break everything down. So there's gonna be a lot of little videos coming at you in, in the next week or so. Then when it comes time for the chef's table, well, I'm gonna invite you and show, show, you, um, show you the end result. And then you'll get to see these pretty things in the table. All right, my friends, that's it. Until next time, happy crafting. Oh. oh, that was fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe.